Well, sir, about a thousand years ago, new people sailed from other lands to find what was for them a new world. 500 years passed, and then Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain looking for a shortcut to China. Columbus thought he had landed in India, so he called the people he met Indians. Uh-oh. The people who came to stay and make a new home in America were from Europe and Africa. Now, that was in the early 1600s. In 150 years, three million new people had come to America, and there were 13 colonies the King of England thought belonged to him. The King liked to think of the people in the colonies as his children. But the colonists didn't like being treated like children. There was talk all over the American colonies about not being owned by England anymore. This made the King of England furious. He sent part of his big army and navy to America to make the colonists behave. This made some of the colonists mad. Now it was 1776. A young man from the colony of Virginia named Thomas Jefferson, was chosen to write a Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson chose his words carefully. He was writing down words that declared independence from England, but he was also setting down some ideas about freedom that people had been dreaming of for a long time. 